Yay! We are live! Hey, I'm Abiola, and welcome to this video. Today is really, really exciting because not only is it Get Ish Done Week, and the goddesses have been getting ish done. I've been getting a lot done. We are having this intensive focus of making things happen, taking inspired action, and it is so exciting. So raining down blessings on everybody who is getting stuff done this week, raining down blessings. Yay, Goddess Aurora Day is in the house. Hello, 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 my beautiful sister. Welcome. So not only is it Get It Done Week, but today, at the time of this recording, which is April 18th, is two, exactly two months before we will be kicking off the Goddess Pray Love Retreat in Belize. Because that retreat starts on the summer, so well, it doesn't start on the summer solstice, it starts two, three days before. But it starts on June 18th. We will be in Belize. We will be in Belize at the Goddess Pray Love Retreat. Yes, I see Goddess Neith in the house. I see Goddess Shane in the house. So only exactly two months before I get to hug your faces at the equator in Belize. Yes, when we are working with our Garifuna healers, our Mayan healers, tapping into our feminine wisdom, our ancestral power. Oh my goodness. Like we are going to have an amazing, time. <laughs> We're going to have so much fun. So I wanted to acknowledge that we are two months away from our Belize excursion while also paying homage to our get it done week because the goddesses have been knocking it out. I also wanted to just, you know, give us something that merged those things, merged those energies. So today we're going to be talking about the law of attraction and your business. Thank you, Goddess Neve. You know what's really weird? Like right before I pressed record, for some reason, I knew you would be here in this session today and I knew you would say something about my hair. It's so, well, I guess it's not weird, but it's so interesting interesting i i and let me tell you and so i made note in my head i was like what prop what's the name of the product <laughs> that i need to pay homage to yes and so it is a product it is a combination of my hair given hair clip-ins um and uh dr funky's daughter a new um natural hair product dr funky's daughter Yes, 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 Goddess Neve, absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you. Thank you for the love, I appreciate it. All right, so we're gonna be talking today about the law of attraction and your business. And so if you are unfamiliar with the law of attraction, guess what? You're already doing it. We already are living it. <laughs> your life is the reflection of what you believe to be true about your life, yourself, the people around you, and the world. And so it's not, you know, oftentimes if I will give a talk on the topic, you know, someone will feel the need to like share with me, you know, the, the skeptics like to come up and, and engage in dialogue, which I'm not all that interested in. My business is not to convince any, anybody of anything they don't want to be convinced of. I, I you know, believe as you want. I'm here for the people that want me to be here for them. And so I remember somebody was, you know, people will say, well, you know, well, I, I don't, you know, believe in the law of attraction. I'm like, oh, you don't have to. Don't believe in gravity either. Like, it doesn't matter whether you believe in it or not. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> it is absolutely happening. And so, you know, it is what it is. Every spiritual text that you will read from the Tao Te Ching to the Bible uh, to, you know, Buddha, the Koran, the Torah, acknowledges the law of attraction. It is at its most basic, you know, as a man thinketh, or in our case, as a woman thinketh. And all it says is, you know, it's like attracts like, it is karma, it is all of those different principles. Um, what you give out, you get back, the golden rule, many different ways that it is, it is expressed. And like I said, it is like gravity. You can choose not to believe in gravity. <laughs> but if 
you drop something, it's still going to fall, whether you believe it or not. So it is what it is. And we have access to this beautiful law of attraction. And so it is powerful to be deliberate about how you craft and create your life. You, womb man, womb person, you have the ability to create worlds. And so making your life, taking your life in your hands as your beautiful goddess clay and creating it the way that you want to be, that's what it is. That's what this dance is about. And we shouldn't leave that out when it comes to our businesses. Because if that was the case, you know, look at you, like, look, look at you, look, look how brilliant and incredible and, you know, funny and smart and beautiful you are. You could go work for somebody else, you know, for the next 50 years and make them a lot of money, but that's not what you want to do. And so use the law of attraction as a tool in your goddess toolbox to build the biz, the business blissness vision and life that you deserve. Yes! Shu Oshiani is here. Welcome, Goddess Shu. We were celebrating the fact that we will be in Belize in exactly two months. That's when we get to hug each other. <laughs> like It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the most beautiful reunion of souls and spirits who are meeting each other physically, a lot of us, for the first time. I've had the, pre the, the beauty, beautiful gift and presence of being in physical company with Enchantress Shane, but for the rest of my goddesses, for the most part, we will be meeting physically for the first time. And so it's like, then we like meeting people, family members, people you already know. So I'm looking forward to it. Yay! <laughs> So if you're just joining us, we're talking about the law of attraction and how you are going to use it in your beautiful business, blissness, as I like to call it, ventures. And so I wanted to just give us a refresh because a couple of months ago, we all did vision boards. This was mine. We did business, blissness vision boards specifically for our business as a part of my um, blissness challenge. And yay, thank you for the heart. And something that we're going to start doing starting, have to be next week, um, we'll start doing one manifesting Wednesdays where rather than wait for a whole other challenge for us to work on our vision boards, every Wednesday, we will just pin something as a group on our Pinterest vision board. Um, and you can come hang with us and access that in my free Spiritpreneur Facebook goddess group at imanifestmagic.com. The link is in the comments. And every Wednesday, we will pin something that we are intending on our group vision board because group manifestation is very powerful. You are a whole universe of power by yourself. But when the goddesses get together on something, that's something definitely that we're going to be doing in Belize as well, putting our intentions on each other's visions to help each other to give birth. What? Oh my gosh. Red tent rising. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yay. Enchantress Shane said she just made a new vision board yesterday. Beautiful. So every Wednesday, every Wednesday, we will, I'll give you a prompt in our free uh, Facebook group. Again, the link is in the comments and we will pin something that you are intending and put group focus on our Pinterest group vision board. All right. So let me hop into how we can use your, use the law of attraction to build your mission, your movement, your blissness business vision. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Goddess Neve. Yay, Coach Roz is in the house. Now the party can really get started. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So number one, the way that you approach how you do anything is truly how you do everything. And so you want to be clear on what it is that you believe. If you are attracting things that you don't want or not attracting things that you do want, the source of that 
is what you believe. Now, sometimes it's residual stuff that you may have believed before, you know, belief systems, BS, that we have, that we have not yet cleared out, or maybe we think we've cleared out, but there's still the stuff underneath there that's kind of funky. And so we're attracting from that point, you know, case in point, um, last year, or maybe it was a year, about a year and a half ago, I hired this woman um, to deal with my finances. And randomly, out of me, like Googling and finding someone who I was looking for someone who was a bookkeeper and a CPA who was working with um, business owners who have their businesses primarily online. Strangely enough, I happened upon a woman from Guyana, my parents' country, who is living in New York City. Like, what are the odds of that? So now I hired this woman and I was excited because she was Guyanese, right? But my old residual funky money stuff was still under there, even though I was excited about hiring her and wanting to bring someone on and bring positive money energy. And so what I did was without knowing it, basically hire my mom or grandmother <laughs> to sit in judgment and scarcity and confusion, <laughs> right? And sit and be like, you know, oh, Lord, well, what's this? Who's that? What you doing? You need to take so many Ubers. And I was like, oh, my God, like, how did this happen? <laughs> nice enough human being, just not the human being for me and my abundance. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And the reason why that happened, the reason that sometimes, you know, we will attract and manifest something into our lives is that we have belief systems that have, that go back, you know, however long you've been on the planet and then however long probably your parents have been on the planet and then however long possibly their parents have been on the planet and then and then, right? So you are living out beliefs that you don't even know are beliefs. It's just, uh, you think it's just the, the paradigm, the way you see the world. And you have these beliefs about yourself, about your money, about your business. And so if you believe, for example, that it is evil or bad to make money, or if you believe that it is evil or bad to spend money, or if you believe that something is wrong with charging for the things that you do as a creative person or as a healer or as a coach, those things will, even if it's not a top level, not something that you are consciously aware of, it's there underneath behind the scenes. And so we've got to dissolve those beliefs. And so, you know, any conversation about the law of attraction has to start with what it is we believe. Because otherwise you can make all the pretty vision boards that you want, right? But then if you haven't cleared up the belief stuff, you know, you, you can glue all of the beautiful abundance stuff there and then go out and hire, you know, a cranky and negative Guyanese woman <laughs> to, you know, work for you. Again, lovely woman, just not the woman for me. <laughs> Yay. Hello, Goddess Danica is here. Hello, my love. All right. So, We'll, we'll talk more about belief systems, but it's something that is imperative to think about in the beginning, okay? The second thing to think about in the beginning is, you know, as I say, you know, we want to make sure that you're putting the spirit in spiritpreneur, right? And so realizing that, you know, some of our beliefs that we have, like, you know, we grew up, everybody grew up with people saying, oh, you got, you know, it's not who you, it's not what you know, it's who you know, and you've got to be connected. And those kind of people are connected and these kinds of people are not, or people who have money look and, and behave and act and are from a certain way or culture or whatever it is. And you may or may not be that person or, you know, we have these things, whether you grew up very poor, very wealthy or somewhere in between. And so you got to put that spirit in spiritpreneur to know that, yes, you are connected. So if it's about who you know, you know some folks. <laughs> you know the folks, right? Remember, if you, got, if you didn't get a chance to watch this past Goddess Temple Sunday, do watch it because I was talking about, you know, walking with the energy of I come as one, but I stand as 10,000, right? So you do know some people. And it's really, really funny. Yes, 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 yes. 
the, the beautiful goddesses are talking about dissolving the beliefs. Yes, goddess Danica. Yes, goddess Shane. You know, and so it's really interesting uh, at this Bob Proctor event that I was speaking at where I actually met the, the lovely uh, goddess Shane in the first, the first time that we encountered each other's energy. I was booked to talk at that event, and Bob Proctor had been on my vision board for a really long time, um, from the time that I saw and read The Secret, and they called me out of the blue to be a part of that event, and I remember telling someone about it when they initially contacted me and I think had you know, asked for my website or asked for my materials or something like that, and I remember being excited and talking to a dream crusher Anybody ever share their dreams with dream crushers where you come to them and you're like, oh my goodness, I just did this. I just spoke to that person. I just, and they're like, uh, well, da, 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 da. probably won't work out because this, that, and the other, right? Uh, no, goodbye. We need no dream crushers in our lives. Yes. Thank you for the hearts. So I, I, I made the mistake at the time, the error in judgment of going in a very, with very excited energy to this dream crusher who I happen to be engaged with at the time and being, you know, talk about manifesting from old energy, right? Old energy. <laughs> and being like, oh my God, it's Bob Proctor and he's on my vision board and they called me to speak at his event and, da -da 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 -da. and I just sent them my materials. They asked for my materials. Being like, well, you know, dream crusher said, that's probably not going to work out for you. It probably won't work because, you know, those kinds of things are about who you know, and you don't really know anybody. And Bob Proctor is like a 70, 80 year old white man who is connected with a lot of 70, 80 year old white men who have a lot of money and power. And so why would they want you there? Like, what would you have to add to that? Ah, oh, low vibrational energy, right? Low vibe energy. And so if I would have remembered to put the spirit in spiritpreneur, as we are talking about right now, right? Yes. <laughs> Chapter Shane says, fuck the dream crushers. Yes. If I would have known then what I know now, you know, or remembered then what I am remembering now, I would have said, you know, when they said, oh, well, but it's about who you know, you know, are you connected? Yes. Yes, I am connected. I am absolutely connected. I am so connected that I cannot be disconnected. I am so connected that the source of all that is put me in this very spot at this very moment for these very blessings. And there is nothing, no human, no man, no dream crusher that can keep me from that destiny because all I do is win. And so it is remembering that you are connected. You have all the connections. So when people talk about, oh, well, that takes connections, you're like, yeah, I got them. <laughs> you don't have to explain, you know, oh, yeah, I got them. Oh, you have connections? I got all the connections. Yep. I am so connected. I am so connected. And so roll with that energy. Yes, goddesses. <laughs> goddess, goddess Nita says, did I? Yes, goddess Aurora Day. Absolutely. All right. So then you want to make sure that you have a clear vision, right? Because often we are very clear about what we don't want. We know what we don't want because we spend time thinking about it, bitching about it, journaling about it, complaining about it, crying about it. We know what we don't want, but get very clear on what you do want. Yay. Thank you for the hearts, my beautiful sisters. Thank you, Goddess Shu. Yes, all I do is win. And so get clear on your vision. And the reason we need to get clear is because your vision for your business, for your life, is intermingled with a lot of stuff. Not only stuff that you inherited from your loved ones and the stuff that they inherited, but things we just see watching TV that we took in, right? Things that we observed growing up, you know, the people that we were around, you know, the, the beliefs that we've been indoctrinated with. We've been indoctrinated for a long time. And so you need to get clear about what you want and what success 
looks like for you. And that may not look the same for someone else. You may envision yourself having a hundred person company and you are there and you're running your empowerment business from this, you know, in this location, in this corporate structure. And that's fine if that's what you feel. You may envision yourself with a laptop on a beach. That's also fine. You may envision yourself and your family and rocking out and they're all running the business together. Someone else may see herself as a solopreneur. It is all good. You get clear on what it is that you are wanting. Again, it's the difference between, you know, when we walk into a room, we don't turn on the dark. You turn on the light. And so turn on the light on your business and your life by getting clear on what that looks like. Oftentimes, you know, we don't allow ourselves to dare to dream because we're so afraid because we've spent a lot of time, you know, in the in the the energy of these dream killers, you know, who sometimes happen to be, you know, your loved ones, right? And we spend and so we then become fearful about really allowing ourselves to dream. You know, and we lose what we already knew in childhood. Yes, thank you for the hearts. In childhood, we know how to dream. We know how to imagine. We know how to think, oh my goodness, what if? Rather than all the, you know, the what ifs we do as adults. What if it doesn't work? What if I mess up? What if I fall on my face? And instead, start to play with the energy of what if it goes well? What if it is absolutely amazing? What if I do something special? What if I truly step into my power and my destiny? What if I truly step into who I was born to be? What if it all goes perfectly? What if people are so excited that they want to invest in themselves through me and add to my abundance? What if I'm able to receive in ways that I never have been before? What if I'm able to open my arms and my heart wide and take in all of the blessings that are meant for me without the belief that I am taking anything from someone else? What if I remembered that it is an abundant universe and that the source never runs out. And so I can live abundantly. I can receive abundantly. And it does not mean that there is anything less for anyone else. What if? Allow those to be your what ifs. That is creative energy. That is the energy that gives birth to worlds and universes. And so bask in that energy, bask in that flow, bask in that feeling rather than, you know, the what ifs, what if everything doesn't work out energy. That is raising your vibration. And so to create within your business, to turn your business to a blissness, raise the energy and the vibration. A lot of us have beliefs like, oh my gosh, it has to be a struggle, right? The struggle, hashtag the struggle. Get out of here with all that. (laughs) Take your struggle and hashtag, and with all due respect, move it along. (laughs) Because I'm not trying to bask in that. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. No, no. And we get together, we commiserate around it. And anything that you focus on, grows. And so if you focus on all the things that are going wrong, all the things that have gone wrong, all the things that could be wrong, guess what you will keep on attracting? Things that are not working. And then you say, well, what happened? But I made the pretty vision board. (laughs) I glued the stuff on the board like you told me, Abiola, what happened? Right? And then you're still in the energy of, you know, the what if it doesn't work and amplifying that rather than raising your vibration around all that is already unfolding for you. All right. And so start to, you know, approach your your business, your business affairs with the same energy that you would approach your self-care. So when you're putting together your sales pages, right, and doing your bookkeeping and your money stuff and developing your courses, light your candles and your incense and bring that feminine beauty and energy and self-care energy 
to your business. Turn your business into a blissness. Don't feel like you have to leave yourself behind in order to be successful. That is not true at all. Not true at all. And that is repellent energy because you are then not being who you are and you want to attract the best of what's best for you, not what's best for someone else. And so allow yourself to bring your whole self to your business blissness vision. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that we want to talk about when it comes to your business and the law of attraction is your money. Your money beliefs. What do you believe to be true about money? Put it in the comments. What do you believe in your heart of hearts to be true about money? Do you believe that you have to struggle for money, right? If you saw people struggle, like, you know, my mother and my father worked and they worked very hard and they were not available for things like parent-teacher night and whatever because they had to work, they had to work, they had to work, and it's so hard and the struggle and it's so work and money doesn't grow on trees and money's the root of all evil and only bad people have money and they're all corrupt and it's all a scandal, and it's a hot mess, and we have to work, and we have to work, and we have to work, and then say, well, why do you have money problems? <laughs> right? <laughs> so you have to get clear, you know, again, when it comes to clarity, you know, turn the light on on it. What are your money beliefs? What is it to, that you believe to be true about money? Do you believe that you having abundance takes away from someone else? Do you believe that you living abundantly would be you showing off? Do you believe that you stepping into your abundance, you charging, you know, like you knew the value of what it is that you put out into the world, you would, by doing that, you would be either betraying the tribe betraying the group of people that you come from, your parents, your culture, your socioeconomic group, your friend group, would you be betraying the tribe or would you be outshining the people around you? How dare she? Who does she think she is? How dare she shine so brightly? How, why, why is she so selfish, right? The questions that we ask only about women. Why is she so selfish? Why is she such a bitch? Why would she do that, right? And so if we have these beliefs that are so steeped in and rooted within our unconscious, subconscious levels, then how are we going to treat our businesses? How are we going to charge and receive money? How are we going to approach the work that we were born to do? Yeah. Yeah, and so we have to be aware of this. Share this conversation. Hit the share button and share this conversation. Let's share the wealth. Let's come at it abundantly. Don't think, oh, well, if I share this, you know, my, then, you know, people are going to get a leg up on me or they're going to know what I'm thinking or they're going to know I'm watching this weird video or whatever. Share it. It's abundance. Share it, right? So money beliefs. Enchantress Shane says she believes that she has to work her ass off. Yes, to get a drop. Monica Graves, Solo Monica says, work hard for it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And so we then go forward within this energy and we feel like it's start, stop, or, you know, people feel like they move, you know, I've heard, heard uh, goddess entrepreneurs say, well, I feel like I take one step forward and two steps backward, you know? And so we want to, you want to take steps forward and forward and forward and rise and rise and rise. And it starts with your belief systems. It starts with the way that you're treating your money. How, what kinds of money conversations do you have? Do you, when you have to have a money conversation with someone, is it full of angst and stress and discomfort? Or is it, you know, filled with, okay, this is what it is. Let's have this conversation, you know, and a, an energy that is, again, an energy of vibration raising energy. 
When you pay your bills, you know, again, light your candles, light your incense, bless your bills, give thanks. Yes. All right. Yes, Conad. Thank you so much for trusting me to give me some light. Here's your money. <laughs> yes. Okay. Tax dollars, tax time. Let me pay my taxes. How beautiful. Look at this road. I built that. Yes. <laughs> Look at this bridge. I built that. Yes. Right. Are you going to stores and then cursing about how expensive everything is and complaining with other people about, you know, how expensive things are. I shared with you some time back, you know, this was when my niece was one and now she's three and a half. So this was some time ago because we were talking about the Toys R Us catalog at the time and Toys R Us is now going out of business. But, you know, my mom and my sister were looking through the Toys R Us catalog and we were hanging with my baby niece and my mom was like, oh my goodness, you know, they've tripled these prices on toys and, you know, it's all so expensive and it sucks and they're evil and, you know, boo cat capitalism or whatever, which is fine. You know, like my mom has worked, she worked very hard, talk about working hard for a long time. And she's, you know, retired, think what you want to think. But we have here this precious, beautiful baby girl whose brain is like a sponge and is here and is open and ready to be taught and indoctrinated with the beliefs that she is going to take into her beautiful life. And so what are we teaching her at that moment, if we're complaining about, oh my goodness, look how expensive things are. Look how these people are trying to cheat you. Look how the containers are smaller or whatever it is, right? So that 20 years from now, she could be having the same conversation here on Facebook talking about, you know, where it all, you know, fell apart. If we don't heal it, we pass it on. And the beautiful thing is we get to reparent ourselves right now. They did the best they could with what they knew. And we don't have to participate in it today. And so sometimes it's challenging with family members because there are those patterns. And so people, you know, it turns into a mass bitch fest about how horrible everything is. You could either excuse yourself or you could just interrupt the pattern and say, uh, can we talk about something else? Or just start talking about something else or, you know, whatever it is. Don't participate in it. Don't participate in it. Sometimes because, you know, we are people pleasers, we feel the need to let things go or continue on whatever it, vibe it's already on. No, you deserve better. Your abundance deserves better. And your vision deserves better. You don't have to participate in it and lower your vibration and lower your energy and lower your point of attraction, okay? And so if you are, you know, an a cursing about, you know, I don't know, Facebook or whoever it is, and look how expensive it is for these ads or, you know, whatever it is. And, you know, you are down on someone else's right to earn a living, then you are going to approach your business with that same exact energy. So again, it's not about being a Pollyanna it's not about, you know, putting a happy face sticker on your gas stick, on your gas uh, tank when your car runs out of gas or if your car is running on empty. It's about refueling or fueling up for the first time if you never have. Got that? Yes? Yes. Yay, God is scared us here. Hello, beauty. We are celebrating. You are another wonderful goddess who I'm going to get to hang with in Belize in exactly two months. We're two months away, Goddess Gerda. Yes. And so, you know, that is, you want to be very clear about your money karma, your money conversations that you have. Um, if you owe people money, are you having conversations with them? Are you avoiding them? Are you on the duck and run plan, right? Because <laughs> if you're on the duck and run plan, then you are going to attract clients and customers who are doing the same thing to you. Money karma, right? Again, that, you know, that which is like, unto itself is drawn, or as a woman thinketh, right? So be very clear about that. Clear it, clean it all up. Give, give, give. Don't think, okay, well, when I have the money, then I'm going to give. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Or when I have the money, I'm going to be happy. Or when, when I have the clients, then I'm going to, you know, feel whatever. Start right now. If you have one client, 
Treat that client as if your business is gold, the client is gold, everything that you are offering is gold. Come with that energy now. Come with the energy of abundance now. That is the power of creation and creative energy that you already have. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Also, move out of your success comfort zone. You have to take risks to make things happen. So many women, for example, contacted me saying they want to come to Belize with us, but they are terrified, right? Or they want to join the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy, but they're scared. Will it work for me? People are fearful. And moving forward with fearful energy, that's poverty consciousness. That's poverty consciousness. Move forward with the energy that life is happening for you in a big and grand way. And you are more than enough and blessings are flowing. You are a part of the flow. And so you welcome in the abundance. It's the difference between looking at things as oh, money that I'm spending versus you're investing in yourself, you know? And so coming with the energy that, you know, Oprah doesn't see if she's going on a retreat, a spiritual retreat, or taking some kind of enrichment class or training as, oh, this is money that I got to spend. She knows that it is an investment in herself, an investment in her vision, an investment in her company. And so you move and create with that same energy. If you want something that you've never had, you're going to have to learn something you've never learned. If you want something you've never had, you're going to have to become someone that you've never been. Be, do, have. We think about it as you can be, do, have anything you want, which is true. But be, do, have at its core is really about, okay, if there are these things you want to do and there are these things you want to have, who do you have to be? Who, the person that would do those things and have those things, what do they believe? What do they believe about themselves and their world and their mission and how they approach life? Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's talk about clutter, clutter clearing. What clutter can you release? Let me know in the comments, what clutter can you let go of when it comes to your life and your business and your vision? Yes, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. Clutter clearing, releasing clutter is an act of abundance. Whether it is physical clutter, whether it is people clutter, <laughs> whether it is emotional clutter, grudges and things like that that you have to release, whether it is digital clutter, I've been clearing up a lot of digital clutter, let go of the clutter. Things that you are holding on to come from a point of view of scarcity and lack, and you don't want that energy around your business. Case in point, I remember when, you know, I was starting out, you know, I went and, sub and subscribed to like all of these free things and then had all of these like free offers in my inbox and it was overwhelming and I didn't know what was what and couldn't figure it out and was trying to piece things together and figure it all out. That's all clutter. It's mental clutter. It's emotional clutter rather than, you know, having the brilliance like you goddesses to invest in myself, invest in my business and move forward, right? Focus means follow one course until success, right? And so rather than being having shiny new thing syndrome, oh, and I got to do that, got to do this, got to do this, got to do that, got to, you know, realizing that it's about, it's at its, at its most simple, you sharing your message with the people who came to hear it and charging them for it. Because you deserve to have abundance in your life and business, and they deserve the opportunity to invest in themselves and step up for themselves. And having that energy exchange at its most simple, at its most core, at, at its core, and realizing when you write your sales pages that you come from a place of love and abundance for them and for you, and knowing that, you know, treating your tribe not like an avatar, but like your soulmate tribe, your soulmate clients, who you have this beautiful gift that you can't wait to share with them. And that makes it so exciting and so much fun. And that's vibration raising energy. That is energy of abundance. That is the energy of creation. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Yes. Welcome, Goddess Lucretia. <laughs> yes. Let it go. Let all the clutter go. And, you know, I come from clutter peoples, 
<laughs> who are amazing peoples, but clutter peoples because they come from lack, you know, they grew up in, you know, poverty circumstances and there's no shame in that. Shame and guilt are low vibrating em emotions and energies. And we got no time for that, right? Whatever it is, we own it. We own it. We honor it right? We own it, we honor it, and we move forward to create something different and something better. And when we heal ourselves, we heal those who came before as well. And so how amazing that they dreamed of you. There's this line that, you know, still makes me cry whenever I think about it in one of Dr. Maya Angelou's poems where she's talking about, you know, the, the line is, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. That your ancestors, when they were going through whatever they went through, from whatever culture you are from, many of them could not envision you. And how incredible that you get the luxury, the absolute luxury on a Woman Manifesting Wednesday for us to sit here and have a conversation about stepping into our power, about stepping into our greatness, about refusing to shrink, hide, and play small, about the courage to show up and be seen and be heard. Like that is a luxury. You are already wealthy. You have already won. You are wealthy and abundant to be able to sit and have this conversation. What? Yes, you are flourishing. You have some kind of device. You have some kind of internet. And so you are rocking it. Yes, yay, you, you are doing the damn thing. That is absolutely amazing. You are blessed and wealthy. You are the 1%. Move forward with that energy. That is the energy that creates universes. That is the energy that creates movements. If you are wanting to, as a coach, as a healer, as an entrepreneur, you move forward, you are a de facto leader. And so you being willing to stand in your power, again, start with willingness. Even if you're terrified, even if no one knows who you are, even if you haven't made a dime, be willing to stand in your strength, stand in your belief, stand in your power and come from that place. That is magnetic. That is somebody we will follow to the ends of the earth. That is someone we want what she has. We want to know what she has. We want to purchase her stuff. That is someone we want to invest in ourselves through her. Okay, and that is who you are. So move forward with that energy. That is act as if energy, which is totally different than fake it until you make it. I know it sounds like semantics, but fake it until you make it. You don't want to fake anything. You want to be authentically you. Your authenticity wins. Your authenticity differentiates you. Your, your authenticity is your secret sauce, your own secret business sauce. And so if you are feeling fearful, act as if by whether it's assuming the, the posture of the person, right? We were talking the other day about power posing, <laughs> right? Assuming the energy, assuming the posture, raising your vibrational energy, go to events, you know, look up their meetup events everywhere where, you know, the people that you want to be around are enjoying things. Go to if you can't afford it, go to, you know, a really nice restaurant or a cafe and have some tea. Have some tea. Just have a cup of tea. Yes, absolutely. And allow yourself to be in that environment. Allow yourself to be loved up on in that way, whether or not it's something that you want. People have different things that they want. That doesn't have to be a part of your vision. But if it is, allow yourself to act as if, to walk in the space of, to walk in the truth of, really walking in the truth of who you really are. You are powerful beyond measure. You are made of the best stuff on earth and you got this. <laughs> so our Get Ish Done week continues tomorrow for all of the goddesses in the Spiritpreneur Guru Acceleration Academy. For all of you, tomorrow we are going to be doing, because people ask me how to do 
when we did the course creation stuff the other day, people wanted to know more about mind mapping. So that is what you are going to be learning tomorrow. Yes. Yay for the crowd, goddess me. So two months, only two months until we are celebrating at the Goddess Pray Love Retreat. I look forward to seeing you there. And I look forward to seeing you here. <laughs> if you have not yet downloaded my free spiritualista influencer playbook look for the link in the comments and definitely download it come hang with us in the spiritpreneur goddess um facebook group at imanifestmagic.com the link is also in the comments and if you want me to text you every time i'm going live so you don't miss anything the link is in the comments just text goddess temple in all caps, in the USA, to 43506. All right, my loves, be seen, be heard, be your magnetic self, be a movement. Namaste. Get it done, we continue. So take inspired action and get it done. <laughs> Bye, loves. <laughs>